I am Dana Malcolm with Rashid Esson. This is your evening edition of Top Stories for Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024. Coming up, the news that matters most. There's only one place in Providenciales where you can really feel your duty-free savings, and that's at Sam's Club on Leeward Highway. Duty-free bread basket items on top of Sam's Club are already low prices. If you're not shopping at Sam's Club, you're paying too much. An uptick in dengue cases is what the Ministry of Health and Human Services is reporting in their first update since November 2023. They say they've now identified 172 cases of dengue since they announced the outbreak on November 15th. Those cases include 90 confirmed and 82 suspected. The update came after weeks of requesting statistics and reports of hundreds of cases from residents. The first case had been recorded on October 17th. Coming up in the morning, school principals speak to us their concern about the safety of their students. Following high air traffic to the Turks and Caicos Islands, a notice to airmen or NOTAM has been issued. It aims to handle the heavy traffic of flights by blocking general aviation flights or charter flights from landing at the Providenciales International Airport on Saturdays between 12 and 3 p.m. Over Christmas, more than 440 flights were registered in the airport. Reports indicate the airport was extremely busy today as well, with several dozen GA flights scheduled to land. Some passengers reported slight delays, but there were no shutdowns or cancellations. The NOTAM stays in effect until May 24th. Magnetic Media is your news leader. Still to come, Rashid Esson. The National Health Insurance Plan has over 37,000 contributors. That's 37,000 of us working together to take care of one another. Your contribution ensures my wife and unborn child gets the prenatal care they deserve. Your contribution helps me to afford my medication. Your contribution has helped my loved one receive treatment during their untimely emergency. Your contribution gives my family peace of mind. So thank you for your contribution. This message has been brought to you by the National Health Insurance Board, building a health Healthy nation, one person at a time. It's now time for your regional top stories. I'm Rashid Essen. Big pushback internationally and locally as a delayed travel tax now takes effect. The Bahamas' new Passenger Tax Act and its various increases and a new charge is in effect since January 1st, delayed from summer. The cruise departure tax increased to $23 from Nassau, Bimini, and Grand Bahama, $25 from private islands like Coco Key. Add to that is a new $2 charge for cruisers exiting the Bahamas. But many are not pleased. Bahamas were so enraged yesterday they took to social media to reject a departure tax on airline travel. It now appears the government is rescinding that tax, at least for now. Meanwhile, the extras on cruise tourists will be upheld. It's dubbed an enhancement tax. Trinidad and Tobago's first Prime Minister of Indian descent, Basdio Pandey, has died at the age of 90. He passed away on Monday and according to his daughter, he was surrounded by family. Michaela Pandey said, quote, He passed with his boots on, keeping everybody around him on their toes with his wit and humor. Reports inform that flags will be flown at half-mast in recognition of his passing. Pandey served the Trinidad and Tobago from 1995 to 2001 and was revered for co-founding three political parties. Magnetic Media is your news leader. See these stories in full in the next edition of The Magnate. You hear that? That's Unlimited WhatsApp and Facebook with Flow's new Unlimited prepaid plans. Flow is giving you exclusive data to post, like, and share all you want on Facebook and talk. Message or video call all your faves on WhatsApp. Have endless fun when you activate Flow's hot new 30-day plan for just $40 a month and unlock Unlimited social media messaging, unlimited Facebook, unlimited WhatsApp, unlimited possibilities. Dial star 129 pound to activate today. Conditions apply. As 2024 begins, Anya Williams, Deputy Governor, says the public service is starting the year better staffed and with locals in top positions. We were pleased to welcome a significant number of new starters to the Turks and Caicos Islands Public Service. And likewise, we're pleased that a significant number of Turks and Caicos Islanders were successfully promoted to the roles of Permanent Secretary, Deputy Secretary, Directors and Deputy Directors and Heads of Departments as well. Williams was speaking during her New Year's Day message to the residents of the Turks and Caicos. 
Claudine Gay, Haitian-American, first black president of Harvard and only the second black woman to head an Ivy League school, has resigned. It comes amidst an investigation into Harvard for anti-Semitism and Islamophobia and a controversial congressional interview regarding those allegations. In her resignation letter, Gay said she had been subject to personal attacks that she felt had racial undertones. The university has offered its full support of Gay, highlighting her commitment to Harvard and indicating they accepted her resignation with sorrow. As for allegations of plagiarism, Gay has been exonerated by the university after requesting a review of her work. That is it for this edition of the news. On behalf of myself, Dana Malcolm, and Rashid Esson, as well as the entire news team, thank you for joining us.